we're traveling from the top of Alaska to the bottom of Patagonia. <laughs> and Michael Imida. Pleased to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> you guys from Australia. Yes. yes. So when did you start your journey? So we started traveling in July last year. So we have been on the road for 18 months. What motivating made you hit the road? Uh, a change of lifestyle. We both work six days a week, 40 hour, 50 hour week, and we wanted to change our lifestyle. So we decided to go on the road and work on the road. Why you choosing the America Continental but not Australia? Well, we had traveled Australia. We have we've traveled around Australia and we said, well, where's the next continent? And we really wanted to go to Alaska. And so we chose to do the Pan Am Highway. Uh, and explore Alaska and America and South America. What's your plan? Where are you going to after leaving this place? Okay, once we've finished, we're going to go down over the Mexican border mm -hmm. uh, to Cabo uh, mm -hmm. on the, um, what's it called? The Baja Peninsula. The Baja Peninsula. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we are going to spend some weeks there. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to ferry across to mainland Mexico mm -hmm. and turn south. Going all the way down to Argentina. Correct, yeah. Yep. We bought, when we were in um, Alaska, we went up to the Arctic Ocean and we got a bottle of water mm -hmm. and we're taking that bottle of water all the way down to the Antarctic Ocean and pouring it in. Wow! <laughs> it's awesome! Wow! Yeah. Something to do. <laughs> <laughs> what was the most good impression so far? My opinion so far has been Alaska. Uh, the wildlife in Alaska, we were attacked by a grizzly bear. <laughs> we... Attacked by grizzly bear? We were attacked. I have the film if you want to see it. We were attacked by a grizzly bear. I don't believe that. No, I'll show you the I got it on camera. Okay. It a bluff charge. Oh, wow. And we, yeah, the wildlife driving over the Brooks Range up to the Arctic Ocean yeah. is something everyone should do. It is truly beautiful. Yeah. I don't know about my lovely wife, what her opinion is. Um, actually, I've been liking Utah. Utah, I, I loved Alaska. Alaska was for the wildlife, mm. you can't beat it. And the Cassia Highway going to mm. Canada mm -hmm. was stunning. It's just so much wildlife, you know, everybody has to do that road. It's yeah. a bit daunting, but it's really good. But Utah has so much beauty. Yeah. That's a very large uh, spider. Oh, you might want to move your... Um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, the other day I saw this spider. So big. Oh, oh it's my a tarantula. God. Tarantula. Is that what that is? Yeah. yeah. Okay. They can bite, but there's no poison. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> now you shut the door. We were speaking of wildlife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was speaking of wildlife. It came out. <laughs> right. but yeah. You, Utah has been, um, it's just so, it's so barren. You know, it's such got such beauty and it's barrenness. It's lovely. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I love Utah. Yeah, yeah, really. There are many national parks. Yes. In Utah. Yes. Yeah. Very interesting national parks. Mm. Lovely. We've, we've really enjoyed it. But Alaska's probably Alaska and um, Canada, going up through Banff and that area. Mm -hmm. That's um, yeah. That is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. Yeah. But Banff is beautiful. Yeah. Okay, speaking of Canada, what differences are there between Canada and the U.S. for the camping? For the camping, um, the provincial parks in Canada are very similar to the state parks. Hmm. Whereas in, in Canada though, when they close their provincial parks, they usually leave them open, if that makes sense. So there might not be any facilities, but you can still use them. Um, so that was really quite convenient up in Canada while we are camping in Canada. Uh, there's not a great deal of difference. I mm -hmm. think um, Americans and Canadians embrace the, um, the camping life or the van life. Mm -hmm. So um, similar. It's, it's quite yeah, similar. similar. Yeah. Yeah. And there are many free camping spots. Mm. Yes. There is a yes. lot of camping in Canada. Uh, and Alaska, as you get into the wilderness, they're happy for you to park and camp anywhere. 
So you just pull over and camp. It is free, free everywhere. I want to go there. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't there. been yeah, Yeah. No. Everyone should yeah. try to drive to the top of Alaska. It is yeah. life changing. It really is. Mm -hmm. I heard many times. It should go summertime, right? No, we went in spring. Spring? Yes. In spring, you have all the mothers with their young. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. have the moose and their young, the bears and their young, everything, the eagles and their young. If you travel in summer, you have the mosquitoes and their young. <laughs> it's better to travel <laughs> yeah. in spring. But springtime is still cold and the yeah, sun is cold. short. Still a bit cold, but we, we're from Australia and we enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. you know, we yeah. were occasionally got to zero. Mm -hmm. We occasionally saw snow, but most of the time it was quite nice. We left in um, uh, left Vancouver in April, yep. mid to late April, um, and made our way up. And we we came down. We we're coming down in July, mm -hmm. so we didn't have any problems with mosquitoes. And as Michael said, we saw a lot of moose. Mm -hmm. And in one fun fact about moose is in uh, Alaska, the moose calve or give birth within the same two weeks all moose give birth the same time within two weeks they, how come they do that because it's a, it's a natural um natural defense system because uh -huh. when the, the because their babies are so red mm -hmm. they, you know they're red like these mountains here they're so visible they're so visible in the wild if they all have them together then mm -hmm. the wolves and the bears mm -hmm. will only kill so many of them uh -huh. Whereas if they had them all throughout the year, they the the numbers of moose would dwindle. An influx of babies within two uh, two week period, mm -hmm. they can only kill so many. So it's a really interesting fact about yeah. moose. <laughs> and then after two weeks, they can then walk and run, and they're yeah. a much harder target for the predators. Wow. Yeah, you learned a lot <laughs> after you traveling there. Yeah. <laughs> Was it easy to buy your truck and your camper? Your travel visa, right? Yes. 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 And then oh, you said you bought a truck and camper in Canada. We did. Right? Just traveler can buy speakers. You need to have a um, you need to have an address, mm -hmm. a local address in Canada. We used our daughter's address. Um, and they don't ask your driver license. Yes, we showed them our Australian driver's license and our Australian passport. Is it okay? That was fine. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Good information. Yeah. yeah. How are you gonna do it? your truck and your camper after finishing your journey? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> He's coming. Back come. from yeah. <laughs> I'll interview you later, <laughs> next year. <laughs> uh, we're going to. We haven't decided yet. We'll probably um, once we drive down to Patagonia, mm -hmm. uh, we may put it on a boat to Florida or um, some uh, an, an American um, state, and then we'll drive it up the east coast because we haven't seen the east coast of, of uh, the US yet. Mm -hmm. uh, drive it up the east coast, coast and then sell it in um, uh, Canada because yeah, we have to sell it in Canada because it's a Canadian registered vehicle. Okay. What about shipping to Australia? We could, except mm -hmm. it's the wrong. It's right hand drive against left hand drive. Mm -hmm. yeah, we drive on the on the right side of the road, on the other side of the road. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Could you show us around your vehicle? Yes. And well, inside and well, out. And I'll show you the bear attack as well if you want. <laughs> oh, of course. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you show yeah. outside. I'll tidy up inside. <laughs> so it is an. 2012 Arctic Fox camper. Yeah. So it's a four seasons camper, so it's fully insulated. All the water tanks are insulated, so we can live in it in negative 10, negative 12 degrees, no water freezes. It's quite, mm -hmm. quite comfortable. Uh, we have a generator, we have solar panels. The generator is here. We have a Cummings generator. Uh huh, yeah. Mm. It has a slide, so that yeah. allows to bring the dinette out, so mm -hmm. you have e ease of room to move around inside. We have a solar panel on the roof. One solar panel, 110 watt. How much are you for these? We, we paid about $45,000 for the complete rig, the truck, the camper, with all the equipment. It's got airbags, anti-sway bars, all the equipment you need to safely carry the camper, mm -hmm. which weighs 3,600 pounds. Heavy yeah. camper with a slide on it. 
Artifacts is the heavy ones because good insulation and yeah, it has it's a four seasons camper which means it's, it's got large water tanks it's got everything and of course it's all weight so it becomes quite heavy it's got dual batteries and then the truck of course is a GMC 3500 with the diesel Duramax diesel in it mm -hmm. so it's quite fuel economic it gets about 10 miles to 12 miles to the gallon 2008 2012 for the camp but we were very lucky the truck only had 8,000 80,000 kilometers on it so which is about what 65,000 miles so it was mm -hmm. quite a low mileage vehicle and it's got heavy rear dual rear wheels too much trouble no worries flat tire no yeah. flat we've no flat tires in 30,000 kilometers so far <laughs> we have a blow-up canoe which is over the front of the truck at the moment this one inflate this one is canoe you're enjoying every yep. sporting Bicycles? Bicycle, yeah. The camper, how big it is? It, in length, it is in feet, I think it's 21 feet long, it's front to back, quite long. Yeah. Again, it is. it, it weighs a lot, it is quite big, but the truck is built to carry it, it's yeah. set up to carry it. We have the tie downs, which are spring tie downs, so it allows, so it isn't brittle it isn't fixed it moves around so you don't get too much uh, shock damage so when you drive like this off-road you don't feel any just shaking no. no if you're traveling slowly you do feel a little bit because your airbags will tend to move mm -hmm. uh, on the highway you feel nothing at all it has okay. four electric jacks mm -hmm. so we can just jack it off the truck whenever we want if we want to really go four-wheel driving camper off the truck take the truck from underneath and Go yeah. without the camper. Yeah, that's the so. good benefit of the camper. Yep, yeah. yep, with these. And it takes about 10 minutes to bring the jacks down, lift it off, disconnect it, mm. and move on. Yeah, and it has awning. Yes, it has an awning on the back. Mm -hmm. uh, it is very much set up uh, for what we're doing. It really yeah. is a very, a very good camper. And as you can see by the stickers, you can see a, yes. a good many tail of stickers. Where we've been. Bryce Canyon, Bryce, wow, you've Bryce, been there, you yep, saw, Bryce and Canyon, Canyonlands. Canyonlands, yep. oh, beautiful. Beautiful area. Yeah. Arches everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere on this bumper is beautiful. Yeah. I got stuck in Canyonland. Did you? <laughs> yeah. So I called 911. Yeah. It took two hours more to get out. Wow. Yeah. Just yeah. a sticker everyone should have. Prudhoe Bay. Mm. Arctic challenge in Alaska. That is okay. the sticker you get at the very top of Alaska. Top? The very Pr top of Prudhoe Bay? Prudhoe Bay. Yeah. That is at the very top of Alaska where the oil fields are. Okay. Everyone Thank should you. have that sticker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is the day. I drove Route 66 yeah, from yeah. Chicago to Grand Canyon. Yeah, yeah. 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 Very fun. interesting route. Yeah, yeah, it is. Lovely ride. Mm -hmm. uh, that's an interesting site. The meteor crater? Yeah, I've Arizona. been there. And Bonneville Salt Flats. We stopped and helped out the speed week of Bonneville Salt Flats. That is our salt from the Salt Lake City. They the world speed records and Spain speed records. We were, they were running the, the speed week, so we stopped to volunteer for the mission and helped them. Are you going to show me the inside? inside? Yes, come on in. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, so, it's this, nice. Yes. Very spacious. It is very spacious. With that slide, it makes a yeah. lot of difference to the floor space. Like here. this, right? The, that's mm. right. And when it's um, in, it mm -hmm. would be to here. So you can still move around and you still, you know, use the kitchen and everything. But mm -hmm. it's, um, it certainly makes it feel a lot better, a lot, a lot bigger. Yeah, we, we repainted it and we re-carpeted, uh, um, just a bit mm -hmm. of a lick of paint and, and changed the, um, yeah. the benches to the to the wood, mm -hmm. put in a uh, deep sink. I've got dirty dishes in there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we sort of use, this is our drinking water. We um, mm -hmm. I've got inside, I've actually got charcoal. Charcoal. Charcoal inside the, okay. in there. So uh -huh. that sort of just purifies the water mm -hmm. a little bit more. Yeah. Um, we don't use this very much. This is mm. our treats cupboard. <laughs> mm. uh, we have an oven, three yeah. burner stove. Uh -huh. Got a little 
pantry. Yeah, we've got the uh, pantry. Slide out pantry. Yep. Um, and then another little one down mm -hmm. below. Yeah. Um, and then we have our fridge. The so mirror. We yes. put the mirrors on there because it was, oh. again, it was all brown. Okay. So we got some so, mirrors and, and it's plenty it? big enough. Yeah, it's so big. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then we have upstairs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Under here, I think it's got one of the water tanks and our mm -hmm. inverter storage, and, yeah. and a bit of storage. Yeah, Queen size, size bed, yeah. yep. With yeah. um, uh, oh. hanging cupboards on either side and mm -hmm. a, another hanging cupboard here. Yeah. And um, shelving in there and there and then uh, many the storage. Many yeah, we've storage. got lots enough, definitely enough storage for two people. Yeah. It gets a bit cramped when there's three of us in here. Very nice, yeah. <laughs> clean and tight. And yeah, so, yeah. Well, it's usually a bit tidier. Yeah. <laughs> we weren't expecting a, an interview. <laughs> <laughs> and fan. Yes, yeah. we have a fantastic fan because we've been traveling mainly in the colder areas. We haven't had to use it too often. Mm -hmm. So, but it was good in um, Phoenix when we were down there. It uh, it was quite good. We also have a air conditioner. AC, yeah. Yep, the AC is pretty good. Works very well. It's and then skylight. Yeah. I like this. I love it. This. Yeah, it is nice. Or I think uh, all Artifacts has this you know, skylight. I think so. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they're nice. That's good. They're nice, really. Yeah. And then. Look at this very good insulation, so thick. Yes, yes, yeah. very good insulation. We've been down to probably minus 10 degrees Celsius, minus 10, minus 12 degrees Celsius mm -hmm. uh, when we went up to Alaska. Uh -huh. um, because in May it was, you know, going through Canada, it was quite cold. But yeah. with the furnace, because we've got our furnace, um, furnace that comes yeah. out here, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it was, it was perfect. Really, yeah. really good. Kept us nice and warm and toasty. <laughs> okay, that's nice. One. And yeah. then we have our bathroom in here as well. Okay. Uh, excuse the clothes. But the bathroom. Sliding door. Sliding door. And then. This is a nature's head. That's mm -hmm. a composting. It's composting? Toilet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Composting yeah. toilet. Uh, we've just diverted. Normally they have a um, this bucket here at the front. Is it originally com comes like this composting? No. No, we put the composting um, mm -hmm. toilet in. I didn't want to you, be... You changed. We changed it, yeah. yeah. I didn't want to have to deal with black tanks. We've diverted the wet down mm -hmm. into the black tank, mm -hmm. but the wet portion yeah. is, you know, that can be put anywhere. It's it's not a health hazard. It's not a risk. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, and that the, the back, <laughs> yeah. the solids, mm -hmm. can actually be dumped anywhere as well because okay. it's only when they mix that it becomes yeah. sewerage. And then all the goes out like this yeah. yes yes there's a little fan and and uh, we turn mm. the fan on there yeah. and but there's there's so, really no yeah, Oop, yeah. <laughs> sorry <laughs> i push it out <laughs> so you can stand on and then shower like this yes yeah? plenty wow. of plenty yeah. enough room in the shower yeah, yeah. so spacious yeah. Yeah. for no a problem. bathroom yeah. in a camper yeah. and that's yeah and that's the fill that's the stuff you put into your uh, composting toilet mm -hmm. it's a peat moss um replace this every two to three months okay so which is really handy it'll be very mm. good in south america yes. yeah it's cool mm. yeah cool camper it's in the Thank window you. oh yes this one is the window yeah, yeah. Wow, you can see the beautiful sunset through the window. Yes, it is lovely. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm... Pleasure. Okay. You're welcome. Oh